What's up everybody, this is Dallas Stone here, and today I just wanted to do an update video on um, setting up Maya navigation uh, in Blender 2.8. Now, my last video, I'm gonna rename it to um, Simplify, just because uh, my setup that I showed there is a very simple version, and essentially you just get the bare bones um, Maya navigation, whereas this one that I'm about to show you um, goes a little bit further. And in my opinion, from what I've seen so far, this is the most in-depth um, Maya navigation control style or preset in Blender. So first off, let's just go to his Gumroad. Uh, I actually don't know if it's a he or she. So this person's Gumroad form affinity. Uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, this one right here. The Maya config add-on for Blender 2.8. This is the one that I purchased. It's completely free, which I think is crazy. But thank you so much, man. You're doing God's work um, for real. So click here. He has inside the, the file, you'll be able to download and instructions on how to install it and all that. All right, so what does this do, right? So first off, you're going to notice, uh, let's, let's go to a new one. You're going to notice that everything is kind of set um, the way that, that Maya is kind of set with the outliner on this side, properties on this side. This one, I'll be honest with you, I actually don't use this as an image viewer. Uh, so for me, I'd probably just get rid of this. But again, it's your preferences. You do whatever you want. Now, what's really cool also is that uh, included is the themes. So it actually has the Maya theme, right? Uh, so here's that one. And then I think there's like the blue one, which is um, I think a little bit more old school Maya. So you can do that again, makes it look like Maya, right? For me personally, I actually really like Blender's dark mode or dark theme. So I just keep it there. So that's the themes. So he also adds those two themes in there for you. Uh, he also has this menu here. Personally, I don't really use it, but maybe other people might find um, uses for it. For me, I actually don't use it at all um the, the big thing right away is the navigation um similar to my simple setup everything kind of feels like maya right holding the alt key instead of um not holding the alt key which is uh, blender's default um and the you know, first thing you'll notice right away as well as the right click now um now we'll do like the edit mode object mode very similar to maya uh, vertices faces and edges Again, very similar to Maya. He, he even, uh, or this person even adds in the isolate mode so you can isolate things if you'd like. Um, and the shade flat and shade smooth all inside this marking menu, which is very, very handy. Um, so that's really awesome. I really, really enjoy that. And then the next thing that I really like is the sp uh, spacebar button. So the spacebar button in Maya will just zoom into the viewport or the viewport that you have selected, uh, or it jumps it back out to quad view. So here, when you press uh, spacebar, you actually have all your views here and you have the quad view all in uh, a very simple uh, marking menu, which is awesome. And then you also have the perspective or ortho view uh, if you want to do things in perspective um, and as well, which is really handy. Um, and in my opinion, it's this add on and this pl plug in this preset, whatever you want to call it. This is the best on the market. There's no one else that I know of that has done anything even close to this for Maya or for Blender 2.8. Um, now, so a few things I want to say is that you still need to learn majority of the Blender hotkeys, which again, not that big of a deal. You're going to have to do that anyways. For example, if you want to do uh, bevels, no control B, right? It's these little things um, that you're going to have to learn anyways. Um, you know, if you want to extrude, you know, E, um, X, or sorry, uh, control E, X, you know, like you're still gonna have to learn uh, the hotkeys of Blender. Um, but again, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but just wanted to make sure that I bring that up. It doesn't carry over all of the hotkeys in Maya into Blender. It just helps you with your, essentially, this is a really good start for anyone that's Moving from Maya to Blender, this is an amazing start. It makes it feel a lot more like Maya. So hopefully that video helps. And um, I'll see you all next time. Bye now.